Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. If you're watching this on my YouTube Shelf Life Book Reviews channel, hopefully if you're not a subscriber you will subscribe to this channel and you will tell your friends about it as well. If you're watching this on Facebook's Shelf Life Book Review pages, I hope you will like it and forward it to your friends, your book loving friends. Uh, as always I am bringing to your attention two great books. Uh, they are fiction books and they are both very highly recommended. The first one is The Good Lie by A. R. Torrey. This is published by Thomas and Mercer and it retails for $23.95. If you like a good psychological thriller, this book is definitely right up your alley. Uh, it looks at a serial killer and the hunt for the killer and uh, it's, it's a lot of great police work, a lot of uh, psychological variables going on. So um, the book revolves around a psychi psychiatrist by the name of Dr. Gwen Moore. Um, she basically has done a lot of her work and research on serial killers. Uh, she has talked to some of the most depraved killers out there. She's counseled them and um, tried to turn their lives around. Now there is a killer in the area known as the Bloody Heart Serial Killer. Uh, he has killed six teenage boys and his modus operandi is always the same. He's, he keeps them for quite some time then he tortures them and he kills them. He cuts off body parts, I won't say which one, and uh, he also carves a bloody heart in the middle of their chest before he dumps them somewhere. So um, now there's a seventh potential victim, Scott Harden, um, another high school student who has been abducted. He's been missing for months and people fear that he is the seventh victim of the killer and that he's dead, but no. He escapes and he comes back home and he tells them that he was held captive by the teacher at the school, um, Randall Thompson. And um, people don't believe that because Randall Thompson is really such a nice guy. So um, a defense lawyer, um, Robert Cavan, he, he is going to defend um, Randall Thompson and he wants Gwen Moore to help him with the defense because he doesn't believe that he, the teacher, um, abducted Scott Harden and that he is actually the Bloody Heart serial killer. Uh, in fact, his son was the sixth victim. He's so sure that he wants to defend this man and he wants Gwen Moore to use her psychological perspective on as to who the killer might be. And uh, it's, it's um, you're unsure who the killer is. Um, there's someone out there and time is running out. They're getting desperate. They know the, the psychiatrist and the defense and the police are getting closer on their trail. Now there's also um, one of Gwen Moore's patients, John Abbott, um, committed suicide uh, after his wife had a heart attack. But the question is, did that really happen? Did he kill himself? And what really happened to his wife? And is it connected to the Bloody Heart serial killer? So there's there's a, a lot of action going on, a lot of different perspectives in the plot, and you're unsure which way, which direction the book is really going. But let's just say it's going the perfect direction, because if you're looking for a great book, and this is no lie, The Good Lie is definitely a book that you should consider. Book two this week of interest is Cutthroat Dogs by Lauren D. Estelman. This is published by Forge and it retails for $34.95. Uh, those familiar with Lauren D. Estelman knows he is a very prolific writer. He has written about 80 fiction books and um, this is book 29 in the Amos Walker series. It's, it's a very popular series. He's a private detective, Amos Walker. Um, who really solves crimes in the tradition of uh, 1930s um, detectives. And so the book has, has a throwback noir feel to it. So if you like classic uh, detective fiction, this book is definitely up your alley. Um, the book features uh, Amos Walker, who is in a, a bank, as a bank robber is drawing a gun on one of the tellers. Amos Walker, who is a private detective and he does carry a gun, he shoots the robber in the back of the knee. 
So he waits for the police to come. When the police come, they handcuff Amos Walker and haul him off to jail as if he is the real bad guy, even though he, he saved the day. Um, he is set free because of the public outcry that Amos Walker's a hero. So uh, he leaves the police station. Um, the police ru reluctantly um, release him. One of the detectives there is, uh, doesn't like him, but he still has to release him. So as he leaves the building, he, he meets the bank teller who was threatened with the gun, and her name is Chris Kobe. And uh, she wants Amos Walker to help um, find the, well, the real killer. Her brother, 20 years ago, was charged with the murder of his girlfriend, April Ghost. Uh, she was found dead in a bathtub with her wrist slit, and she bled to death. And so first they thought it was suicide, but then they thought it was the boyfriend. And um, he, he was not the killer. Um, we can say that. And um, he was actually railroaded because the police wanted a scapegoat. And they said that the girl was pregnant. And then there were things that were held during the trial that would have um, obviously set him free because the police had their man, they thought, they didn't want to look for anybody else. So Amos Walker gets on the case. He looks into that murder from about two decades ago. And uh, he finds some very interesting people, very interesting, um, well, individuals who do not want the past brought to light. Uh, they want it to stay dead and buried, and they want the truth to stay hidden as well. So it's, uh, the book is short. It's under 200 pages. So in many ways, it's good news and bad news. If you love short books, you will really love this. But if you wish for a book was longer, and I wish this book was longer because it was so good, um, you will say, I wish there was another 100 pages because Lauren D. Estelman can really write a great book. So those are the two books I wanted to bring to your attention this time out. Hopefully when you're planning your book purchases, they will be at the top of your list. So as always, I do welcome your comments, positive and negative. Um, please send them to me. and. Um, and if you like something else, if you're looking for other types of books, um, send me your suggestions. Uh, I get all kinds of books and I just love reading. So until we meet next time, as always, stay safe, stay sane, stay social distancing, and do stay in touch. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.